This chain cost a rapper over $12 million. Another rapper's chain can actually drive. Remote control chain. There's even a rapper who turned his hair into chains. Like every single chain in this video is crazy. And I never thought I'd hear about a chain that you can watch YouTube videos on. But then I found out about Polo G's chain. This thing's covered in VS diamonds with a pendant of a bulldog that's holding an iPhone. Then every single link on Polo's chain is in the shape of a B for Polo's boy B Money, who was killed. R.I.P. Regardless, of course Polo loved this thing. It feels so heavy. Shit. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this been a the world off. I'm going uh, them yeah. gray. What? <laughs> God. D yeah, yeah. Saying, everybody changed the I want, yeah, man, it's crazy. Oh, full of gray. And it's trackable, you know that, because it has Find My iPhone on it. And I'd hope so. It cost him over 300 bands. But Polo's chain is something he can only wear on his neck. Another rapper got a crazy chain just to prove that he has the best head game. Literally, this is Dan Sir. Who? And, of course, I never heard of any of his songs. His chains are what caught my attention. Cause he recently dropped a video showing off his new chain hair? Apparently he got surgery to get over 30 chains, some gold, some covered in diamonds, literally hooked under his skin to become the first rapper in history to have permanent chains on his head. And sometimes, the way he styles it is pretty weird. But even though I think it looks dumb, Joe Rogan thinks it's dope and wants to copy it. That's a cool look. I'm Is thinking it? about going that way. I can't wear a toupee, but I could wear that. I'm thinking about wearing Oh my god, that'd gold be amazing. Chains. A man, a man. Yeah. Just, no, all right. I don't blame Baldy. He definitely needs some type of hair. But as cool as it is to wear chains, Soldier Boy bought a chain that he could drive. It's all because dude's been obsessed with Lambos. From posing with them, to whipping them, and literally dropping a song named after one. All the girls be like song when I ride Lambo. Honestly, it ain't even a surprise he got a chain to match his favorite whip. I had bought a Lambo, bro. I had bought a Lambo, bro. You feel me? A black Lambo. And then I was just like, this shit a match, you know what I'm saying? So shit, I just got the chain to match the car. And for once, Soldier wasn't capping. He really got an actual chain of a Lamborghini that's 400 grams of gold, has over 4,500 black diamonds, and of course, the iced out Lamborghini logo. But he didn't only buy this crazy chain so ugly YouTubers like me would glaze in. His remote control car not only has headlights that actually work, it's something he can even race in. Part six, now I might take my chain, you know what I'm saying? And do it like that. Hold on. I'm just show y'all so you can see the remote control. I'm gonna start it out right back here. Remote control chain, nigga. Man, 250,000 just to have a crazy diamond chain with a coupe on it. But another rapper has to be careful that his shittiest chain doesn't get some on it. Cause Lil Duval might be irrelevant. Dude tried becoming a trending topic for posting pics of him using the toilet, and he turned his bathroom fetish into what he thought was a masterpiece. An iced out chain with a diamond toilet pennant. Man started wearing this thing everywhere. Like, even when his rap career failed, and he do stand up comedy. This nigga owe me some money, man. Don't you ain't want to owe you some money for around get shot and die? Now you gotta go to the funeral and ask his mama. Sorry about your son, but you got that? No, I'm good. Do you? Do you. Now that sh is shining. Which kind of reminds me of another rapper's craziest chain that got him robbed. It was already weird that this rapper, Sean Kingston, got a chain of something I thought only little kids play with. I mean, a 64 pack of Crayola crayons must have been so colorful or something that he just had to get that turned into diamonds. His chain's got different colored links than damn near every single colored gem to make up the entire crayon box. Sean wore his rainbow masterpiece everywhere he went, obviously during music videos, and it had fans hella confused saying, <laughs> Why is Sean Kingston wearing a 64 pack of crayons around his neck? Now, his reasoning for buying such a ridiculous piece? He claimed it was to represent his creative spirit, his love for music, and his ability to bring joy and color into the world through his songs. But to be honest, I think he just wanted to buy the craziest chain he could think of and try to finesse it as a write-off. Anyways, when news got out that he bought this chain for 500k, little did he know, that price tag was about to get him turned into a victim. Sean was about to be performing a show and wanted to wear his favorite chain. So we got it shipped like a normal package from LA to New York. But a few days later when the package arrived, it had nothing inside. Apparently his crayon box got stolen in the mail and with it being so expensive, of course the Los Angeles police got involved by launching an investigation. Unfortunately though, the piece was never recovered 
and there were no suspects. So if you ever see anybody wearing a box of crayons, you know where it came from. But what if I told you another rapper's craziest chain came from outer space? Saturn, Moon, Earth, and Mars. NASA take off with the rocket. I think the Migos rapper Takeoff wanted to become the next Elon Musk, because what he bought had him exploring all kinds of things in space. Stars, Mars, Saturn, Earth, the sun and the moon, damn near the entire solar system became part of Takeoff's chain. That's why it weighs over one kilo, is covered in over 200 carats of diamonds, and has a pendant of a custom rocket ship. This damn thing might shine brighter than the stars. So not only were other rappers having to try it on, you know what I'm I got the universe on my neck right now. The chain went so viral, it got turned into a cake for Takeoff's birthday. The young prince, man. Ice on his cake, ice on his neck. Man's really got cake? Just for spending hella cake. But even though his chain cost him a half million, the most expensive chain a rapper owns costs 24 times as much. Who else but Drake, man? Drake? The certified lover boy wanted to prove he's really that with his chain. Drake wanted to flex on all of his exes, all 42 of them. So he had his jeweler create a chain using white gold and featured 42 different shapes and types of diamonds that were supposed to go in an engagement ring for every girl he fell in love with and almost proposed to. Now even though Drake thought this chain made him a pimp, fans thought it just made him an even bigger simp. One fan clowned him saying, imagine making a necklace for every major L you've ever had. Drake has such a big loser energy, that's so embarrassing, dude. But Drake rocked the chain at shows regardless, cause it cost him over 12 million dollars. Now, all right, all right, all right, all right. Drake's chain might shine bright in the light, but hey, turn out the lights for a sec. Another rapper's craziest chain? Glows in the dark, things scary too. But I guess that's the type of thing you get after spending six years in prison. He's Rowdy Rebel, and as you can see, he just got out. So the first thing he did was, well, get that crazy ass hair fixed. But right after, his boys had an expensive gift waiting for him. A chain that's 50 carats of diamonds, 400 grams of gold, and is designed to look like a demon version of himself. Mans instantly gets noticed out in public wearing this thing. That chain, that pendant, I love that pendant, dude. Come here. Is this the pendant I heard at this $100,000 in the dark? Come on, you're glowing the dug and all that junk. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's called COVID Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> and next time you see it, gonna have a bust down Corona mask. I see he's a mask on there, dude. Next time you see it, gonna have a bust down Corona mask, trust me. <laughs> Matter of fact, look, 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 look. Chill. Dude. I got it right now. On, Changing yeah. the game. And that dick rider did his research, because Rowdy's chain does actually glow in the dark. But that masterpiece wasn't only an idea for him. The chain was so unique that when one of their other boys, Bobby Schmurda, got out of prison. Bye, bitch. Bitch. They gifted him a chain that said Shmurda that also glows in the dark. But crazy chains are nothing without mentioning 6 ix 9 Cause not only did he see the movie Finding Nemo and turn the shark character into a giant diamond pendant, man's even got a chain of something I thought only girls play with. Yeah, the dude is that weird. Cause all of his inspiration came from a girl's cartoon, My Little Pony. Get the up my face before I murder you. I'm blood, but I know they fool. Whole squad full of Killers, I'm a killer too. Uh, okay, definitely not that version, but you get the point. 6ix9ine shocked the internet when he got a new chain of the pony's head covered in VVS diamonds, and the craziest part is that it also has real human hair. We got a new piece, never been done before. My little pony with actual f hair, human hair. We f did it again. So, does that mean he takes that thing to the barber? Oh wait, he does. Uh, I guess you gotta keep that thing fresh. I mean, it did cost over 750,000, but not even something that expensive set a world record like this next rapper's. Yeah! This rapper might be named Lil Jon, but he wanted something big and long. Once upon a time, he said, I grew up reading and hearing about people and celebrities who break records in the Guinness World Records book, and it always fascinated me. So now knowing that he wanted to make some type of history himself, once he became a viral rapper, he copped a chain with a pendant of one of his slogans, Crunk Ain't Dead, and the damn thing's almost bigger in his head. We ain't even gonna discuss the 3,700 diamonds on it, cause that ain't what set a world record. All cause the pendant weighs over 5 pounds, is 6 inches thick, and 7 inches tall, this piece was officially certified by Guinness as the largest diamond pendant in the entire world. He wanted to have the world's largest diamond pendant, and that's exactly what we did. Listen, it's a very simple, minimalist design, but it makes a statement. And I remember vividly making this piece. I mean, I don't even know how I fit it around his neck. This piece was so damn heavy. It was like 18,000 stones, three kilos of gold. It was a record-breaking piece. 
But the craziest chain I heard a rapper get actually wasn't even supposed to be a chain. It's something worn by one of the most dangerous gangs in history that's gotten 30,000 people killed. First of all, the rapper's name is Blueface, and uh, he ain't called that because he spent hella blue faces on his purchase. Blueface, baby, yeah. I the color in his name, on his hoodie, and eventually that ended up on his chain is because of the gang he's affiliated with, the Crips. Blueface is always putting on for them by wearing blue just like they do. He's repping when he's stepping as he crip walks. Dude, of course, raps about cripping. Yo, if he like it, but he don't respect his cripping. Yeah, I saw funny games till his n tripping. And he even scares streamers into becoming crips. What is Huh? Uh, well, hey, you know what? I would never, you know, I don't think I would. No, I'm saying, no, I would, a crip, I'm a crip. Alright, it's taking too long. Yeah, my bad. But with Blueface being as famous and rich as he is, he wasn't just trying to wear the same $2 blue cloth bandanas that their gang members are always rocking. He decided to get a bandana that's made of 14 karat gold, is 130 carats of sky blue diamonds, has over 12,000 gems, and on the inside, it also has Blueface Baby with the bandana pattern engraved into the gold. Now, instead of wearing it around his face like typical Crips do, it gets snapped around his neck and costed him so many blue faces. I'll just let him tell you the price. This was two hundred thousand. It's like three That wait, oh whoa whoa. That alone was two hundred G's. Yeah. yeah. People were blown away at this piece. But the craziest part about all the attention he was getting is that it actually inspired rappers from his rival gang, the Bloods Who Wear Red, to copy his piece by getting a red version. So their gang war that's already led to so many people dying is now turning into a battle of whose jewelry is crazier. Now that's insane. But I bet you didn't know that there's such controversial lyrics that rappers said in songs that their lyrics got banned. One rapper's lyric lost him tens of millions of dollars. Another rapper sang about something that almost got the president assassinated. Every single lyric in this video is crazier than any chain you just learned about. So I don't even know how you can hear that and not click this video, man. Click it.